In this video guys, I will show you the simplest way on how you can set up auto indexing directly in your WordPress site. So whenever you add an article, uh, what will happen? You just need to click one button. So that's a plugin that we will install and then it will index multiple articles. It will send those uh, multiple articles to Google Search Console. So you don't have to, you know, manually uh, inspect the URL right here in your Google Search Console and index them manually. Okay, so first thing, what you need to do is you have to come over to this uh, URL, Google uh, console. So you go to console.cloud.google.com slash home slash dashboard. Or you can just Google, uh, you, you go to Google and search uh, console dashboard Google. Okay, so what uh, we need to do, the first step is here, once you landed in your uh, Google Cloud dashboard, you will see this uh, project right here. It's optional to create a new project or if you have an existing project right here you can use that all right so since we have this project right here okay anyway i'm gonna create a new project so that you can see the step by step so we click this new project project right here and here you can name your project whatever you want so let's keep it this one okay and then click create now once it's created you will see right here in the status the uh completed message right here so now here you're gonna select your project by clicking this one and it will reload your dashboard here you will see your project so the project name that you set and you can go to project settings so click that once you are here in the project settings the first thing that you have to go to do is go to the service accounts and here we need to click this create service account now, once you're here in the service account, you don't really need to type anything. So this one in the service account, you, you just click this refresh icon right here and it will, uh, you know, generate this email address for you. You need to grab this. So make sure you copy that and paste that somewhere else. So open a notepad. So because you have to remember this one, we will set this up later in our Google search console. So once you save that, just click this done button right here. And yeah, this one is now created your service account. The next step that you will need to do, click this uh, three buttons right here, click this one, and then uh, click this manage keys. All right. Once you are, he you are here in manage keys, make sure to click this add key and click create new key, right? And then select this JSON, okay? You have two options here. Make sure you select JSON, then click create. As you can see, the JSON uh, settings have been downloaded right here. So you can just simply open that, copy them, and we will need this later. Okay, so we copy that, okay, copy, and then go to your uh, WordPress. Now here, we will need to add a new plugin. So click this uh, plugin right here and click add new plugin. And we will search for instant indexing. Okay, search that plugin right there. Now install this first result right here, instant indexing for Google. Click that. Once it's installed, just hit activate. And once it's activated, uh, you will see that in your plugin list right here. So that's instant indexing. Just click the settings. And this is where you need to paste the data from your JSON that we just downloaded. So we paste that. So remember, we downloaded that JSON from, from here. Okay, so this is that JSON uh, file and we copy the content and make sure you paste that here in your settings, okay? In the settings of your Google in instant indexing. Now click this post because we will need to index each time we uh, create a post. So save changes. Okay, so that's the configuration we require. Uh, in our WordPress. The next thing is uh, this site right here, gowandertoday.com in my case. Now, in your Google Search Console, make sure that site is added, okay? Already added. So uh, this site, gowandertoday.com, has been added in my Google Search Console account. Now, what you need to do is here on the left uh, hand menu, click the settings right here. Settings. Now, in this user and permissions, click that. And we will need to add user here. So click this add user. And remember the email address that we saved earlier, this one right here. So we just need to copy that and then paste that right here. And then in the permission, make sure you uh, change it to owner and then click add. And that's it. Now, 
I think our setup is now complete. The next thing that we need to do is create an article and send that to instant indexing. So this is how you're going to do that. So first we research keywords. So let's say my keyword will be New Zealand tour because my site is all about, you know, uh, travel. So I'm going to search this New Zealand tour and go to questions. I will be selecting those keywords that I think I can run and, you know, interesting keywords for example this one where is the lord of the rings tour in new zealand we have these four keywords and if you want to create articles for these four keywords you can use chat gpt or claude in my case i'll just uh, go ahead and create the articles here in article ai generator because it can generate bulk articles right here so i just select this option generate bulk articles i will paste my articles here you can paste up to 50 articles right here and you can choose here either gpt or claude so i'm going to choose claude that's my favorite writer engine and here you can choose short or medium so let's choose medium and here what's nice about this you can instantly generate featured image so you don't have to search somewhere and you can select article type informational listicle or places so for now let's choose default and you can auto post that to your wordpress and you just need to select your wordpress site right here in my case this one go wonder today.com and it will auto populate the credentials of your uh, WordPress that you added here. Now here, since my site is existing, I'll just keep them draft for now. But if your site is brand new, you can publish bug articles as long as your site is not yet indexed on Google. But my site is already existing on Google, so I'll just put them as draft and later I will set my, uh, you know, workflow to publish them. Uh, now let's generate them. And if you see right here, our four articles have been successfully generated and you see the WP post ID right there. That means our article should now be in our WordPress. Before you can auto post, make sure you have this mini orange API. Uh, the instruction is also in the article AI generator. So we go to post. Let's just view the articles that we created. So for example, this one, what is the best way to tour uh, in New Zealand? So let's preview that and look at that. We have this wonderful featured image that automatically generated along with our SEO friendly article right here. Look at the number of words. It's got almost 3000 words right here. We can take a look. If you see right here, it's got 3500 words. Look at that. It's, you know, very eligible to rank on Google and it has this, you know, several format right here. If it requires to create a bullet points right here, here, as you can see, it also has the uh, table if it needs to display data so that, you know, your readers can easily view uh, the information. And let's take a look one more article right here. For example, this one, how long to tour to New Zealand. And again, a wonderful featured image along with this uh, SEO friendly article. Look at that. We have the table format here, which, you know, makes very convenient for our readers to view our articles. And we have this bullet format. Yeah, it's uh, really uh, a good structure of articles that can rank on Google. All right. Now, for example, I'm going to publish two of them for now. Okay. Or yeah, let's publish every, uh, the three of them. Uh, I mean, four of them because so let's publish these four articles right here and uh, submit them to Google indexing instantly. So we I'm, I'm going to edit them and publish these articles right here. OK, publish that and click uh, update. And you see right here this message, a recent published post has been automatically submitted to instant index API. So that means uh, I don't need to manually copy the URL because when we did not set up this, we need to copy the URL and then paste that individually here. Okay, paste that individually here, it, uh, click request indexing. But since we have set up the instant indexing, we don't need to do that. Every time we publish an, app, an article, it goes to this instant indexing. Okay, so for example, you want to uh, submit an individual article here you just hover over the title of the article for example this grand canyon tour from phoenix you just need to click this instant indexing google update you click that as you can see how oh, is here there is an error okay good thing uh, i showed you this error because this is very important okay so here in your um google cloud when you set up this uh, uh service accounts right here make sure this uh, web search this one web search indexing API is active. So you click that it should be active in your new project right here because I'm using this new project. So you click, you search this web search indexing API, you click that. And here you see it's not enabled. So make sure you enable that. Now, once it's enabled, remember web search indexing API, search that in your new project and 
tick enable now once you did that come back here and you can resend okay so here you can paste as mentioned here you can paste up to 100 url right here so now you can take this send to api and you see right here success so that means we successfully send this url here in google search console instantly so again you go to post and you can actually submit multiple so for example i'm gonna click all this all this uh, i think i only have 45 items okay now click this uh instant indexing google update when you take everything click this instant indexing google update and click apply and what will happen look at this all this uh urls that you submitted here have now been directly added here in google search console so now you just need to wait you don't have to manually uh, submit each url you see right here you can submit up to 200 urls per day so since i've used i think uh like 26 submissions then yeah i only left with 200 okay now that's how you can instantly index your articles here directly in your WordPress without going to this uh, Google Search Console. Remember, as long as this website, gowondertoday.com in my case, or your website is added in your Google Search Console account, then you can configure this. Again, if you uh, did not remember the steps that I showed you, you just rewatch this video. Uh, I, I hope I gave you the instruction very clear. And yeah, if you have any questions, just leave in the comment below. And yeah, I think uh, that's about it, guys. And thank you for watching.